you mind if I ask you something? I need an honest opinion, and I figure you've got no reason to lie to me. Sure. Ask away. Okay. Here goes. My question is, do you think a person can change? I mean, really change, like, deep down. Not usually, no. But in the most extreme circumstances, people are sometimes forced to change. I think you must be right. My dad's a good example. He used to drink all day and he never did any work. And then one day everything changed. He stopped drinking completely and started to work really hard. Sometimes long past sunset. He suddenly seemed to care a lot more about what happened to the farm and to us. Honestly, it was nice. Sitting around drunk all day is no way to support a family. Good thing he snapped out of it. Yeah, it was pretty bad. I'm not sure Mom would have stayed with him much longer. I guess I just wanted to know it was normal what happened to him. Thanks for helping me sort things out. Hey there. Mom's a really great cook. Everyone used to be sick and hungry. I was scared we were all gonna die. Well, hello. It's nice to have a lot of food. We used to only eat once a day. been here long. Don't really know these folks all that well. <coughs> I expect you want to talk to the Warwicks. We've got some supplies I can offer, if you're interested. Mrs. Warwick? Things were pretty lean for a while, but now we've got plenty to trade. Interested? Sounds like you've been through some tough times. Yeah. Some super mutants came through and tore the place up. We damn near starved to death. Anyway, things are better now. Just look at the place. We've got everything we need. I'll say this. If you want to start up a farm out here, you better be ready to fight for it. Why not hire some guards? Even if we could feed, bunk, and pay them, we'd still have to find people we could trust. When it comes to protecting our family, Robert and I need to be sure. How about you? Got any family yourself? I've got a son, Sean. I lost my husband. Oh, I I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't have asked. I hope I haven't reopened any old wounds. Well, you should be. That's pretty damned insensitive. You're absolutely right. Let me make it up to you, okay? Here, take this. I think I've embarrassed myself enough for one conversation. I did enjoy talking with you, though, and I hope you'll visit again. Take care. If you want to pitch in, pick some tatoes and bring them here. I'll give you two caps each. Yep. Here you go. Here's your caps. Wally can be a little precocious. Have to keep an eye on him pretty much around the clock. Don't think I've seen you around here before. You new to these parts? You could say that. How about you? Lived here all your life? Yep, I'm a Commonwealth boy through and through. My family's from Danvers, originally. My wife and I started this place up about 12 years ago. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why set up a farm at a place like this? It might not look like much, and there's that smell. But that's the thing. See, this used to be a sewage plant. The most fertile soil in the Commonwealth is right under our feet. What do you grow here? We got mute fruit and potatoes for the time being. 
The crop we have is doing so well, we can barely keep up with it. Don't figure we'll add anything new, at least not until we can hire some more hands. I have to admit, I feel lucky to even be having this conversation. We fell on some hard times not long ago. A pack of super mutants hit us and wrecked our entire crop. It used to be the Minutemen would have helped us out, but... Last I heard, they were too busy fighting each other to worry about us farmers. So we were on our own. All of us starving, near to death. No man should have to watch his wife and children suffer. You know what I mean? Those days are over. The Minutemen are back, and we won't let you down again. No offense, but I'll believe it when I see it. Anyway, feel free to have a look around, yeah? We got some stuff for trade, if you're interested. My wife June handles that. The kids are Janie and Wally. They're always curious about visitors, but they should stay out of your way. It's been real good talking to you. I hope you'll come see us again sometime. You'd be surprised how many dishes you can make with mute fruit. June? Got a few things for trade, if you're interested. Lord knows it wasn't always that way. I'll take a look, sure. My parents used to fight a lot, but not anymore. I'm glad they stopped. <clears throat> My brother's such a brat. <laughs> 